Hi there everyone, welcome back to the channel. It has been some time, we got a few stuff sorted here today and we have a special guest with us, one of the longest sponsorship of the channel and one of my first sponsorships and the two OGs will remember our chic. Ashik, how's it bro? guys? Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> always good to be here, man. Always lucky to be here with you, man. Yeah, it's it's really a pleasure and an honor to be here again. Yeah, let's we got it sorted. Yeah, sorted out the gears again. My bro, first man, now huh? we're starting the video now. No, huh? first man started I think like two hours ago. He spent like two minutes on my golf, resetting the linkages. Twenty minutes on the caddy, and he took his time with. The VTIC, which is probably like I would say stretching an hour, relax. yeah, we stretch just for you to, to catch up. Yes, <laughs> so um, he really finished all the cars, but we will give you guys like a brief demonstration of each uh -huh. car. Uh, we'll give you guys introduction of the new yeah. parts that's when I had been cooking up there in the oven. <laughs> There's some of his house, Always but busy, Ashik, yeah. um, do you want to give us a, a brief like Demonstration of the golf okay, yes, um, before we give a demonstration, I'll just give an explanation on what we did okay, with okay. the golf starting with the yellow thing there. Um, the yellow thing Let we basically just did some alignment on the gears because um, you know Shane had the engine in and out and box in and out sometime. Um, so the gears were it wasn't as good as it was when we initially did it. So we basically just realigned the gears, uh, setting it again so that that first gear and all the gears in fact is much easier to select. And just to make sure that everything is perfect, brand new, like it came from the factory. That was for the yellow thing. We'll take you inside uh, after everything and show you what it is. And then on the caddy, we did a full rebuild of the linkages. We took everything off, uh, put everything back on with uh, new bushes. And we added a short shifter also. Um, uh, it's especially helpful on the new specs, the short shifter, because like usually when you're putting in your four gears, your hand is almost against the dash. So we added the short shift here, now it's nice, uh, no more shoulder and elbow movements, it's all in the wrist, <laughs> it's all in the wrist, yeah. Um, and then on the Honda also we did uh, our poly bushes, uh, some of you guys will know our polyurethane bush kits that we do for the Hondas, um, just to eliminate some slop and play on the gear levers and now it's like a solid feeling brand new also because that's what we do, yeah, we make it feel brand new. Um, let's go over to the yellow thing and then we'll give a demonstration of um, the result of the job. Okay guys, so here we are in the yellow thing. We sorted out the gears. Um, we just did touch-ups and basically aligned it. You can see the gear lever is nice and solid again. Uh, Shane was having trouble with his first gear especially. But as you can see now, it goes in easy. That's first, second, third, fourth, fifth. There's your reverse and you see how far away from the dash it is whereas usually you would smash your hand into that. So that's what we did on the yellow thing today. Uh, the bushes were replaced quite some time ago um, and the short shifter so we basically just did maintenance on the system uh, today. Uh. Look at Nashik, I must say, you know, like for, um, well, I think you did like the bushes a year ago. Mm. But bro, it, it still feels solid. Like, yeah. it doesn't really, there's no there's no wear on it. It does, yeah. Um, well, there is wear, but I mean, like for the duration. For the duration, yeah. You see, we use a specific type of grease also on the bushes, which is a high temperature grease, which um, it helps to withstand the heat of the engine better because it's quite close to the, to the exhaust. Especially the manifold, yeah. Especially, yeah, to the, the downpipe or the branch. Um, we actually have an upgrade for those bushes now, the ones that are right there, um, which we'll show you uh, once we get out there, which is um, basically bushes that you never have to replace again, yeah. But just for that specific section, which is right next to the exhaust. In fact, we have a whole lot of upgrades to eliminate all the rubber and the, the parts that wear quicker, yeah. We have a lot of upgrades for them. Uh, it all depends on what type of, what your purpose of your build, whether it's a daily or a street racer or a full race car for that matter. We have something for all levels of uh, 
cause. Yeah. No, but that's actually not quite dope. And I spoke to Ashik earlier off camera and he mentioned that um, like you're trying to eliminate, like especially I know in cars sometimes the cables melt or the linkage yes, yes, melts. Yes. So you're trying to eliminate all that, which is kind of dope. There are a yeah. few people, there are like, like barely people out there trying to prevent that. Yeah, we do, you know, we, we like to make something last as long as possible. And you know, you don't want to be replacing things all the time. If you did it last year, you don't want to do it again this year. So Very we, much true, yes. And that's also why we give warranty on our work as well. We give six month warranty on any work that we do, just as a confidence to know that we did it and it's gonna last. It, and not to say it's only gonna last the six months, but that's just the confidence that we have in our work that it's solid work that's gonna last you longer than than anything else, basically. Yeah. I know last time we spoke as well, you do ship out. Um, yeah, we do a lot majority of, of the the, the bushes and stuff. Of yeah, stuff, uh, all over the country. Yeah, we. Um, Quite often, like uh, at least three times a week, we, we're getting calls from Durban and Joburg and we're shipping out at least once a week, we're shipping parts up there. So we've got we've got a constant flow yeah, of, of sending parts uh, up country, yeah. whether it's uh, for Golfs or for Hondas, even for Opals as well. We have some upgrades for Opals also. Um, but yeah, we anything linkage related, we, we try to stay ahead of the game and on the cutting edge of things. Yeah. Alright, Ashik, so uh, give them just a brief uh, demonstration of like the, um, well, I would say like normal linkage maintenance that you do okay, to yeah, Honda. So, um, what we did on the Honda, we basically eliminated all the play as you can see there. That is almost zero play. That little bit of play that you see is basically inside the gearbox itself. So, um, yeah, there was a little play. We replaced it with our polyurethane bush kits um, just to get it to shift nice and solid and new like it came from the factory, you know. Yeah, reverse is always a problem, no worries. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's a little bit more of a There we go, yeah. Effort, uh, <laughs> yeah, so uh, that's what we did with the Honda bushes. Um, it's, it basically feels like new. Some of you will know driving Hondas, this thing can be really, really sloppy. But as you can see, there, it's solid. It springs back the way it must be. And it's quite easy to select. I would just like to mention this, that I think... I think we mentioned this in the last video you were here. Mm -hmm. um, there's a certain type of modification that Ashik does to eliminate the amount of play yeah. on the linkages. So I'm not saying he's the only person that can do it, but if you need the linkages to be like that, definitely head over to Fast Links because he sells a certain polyurethane bush mm -hmm. or bush kit yeah. to eliminate that play as well as a modification. So it's just not it's not something you can, I would say suck out your thumb yeah and then the bushes that we sell um uh, you get two different types of bush kits uh, you get the uh, gear lever mounting bush kit and you get the gear linkage bush kit the gear lever mounting bush kit is available from uh, other suppliers but the gear linkage bush kit is only available from us uh, it's designed by us and made by professional companies specifically for us and you can't get it from them you must buy it only through us yeah, um, and clearly, as you can see, this is the result of it, and it's it's very effective. Yeah, it does a, a great job. We'll show you guys on the on the bench there in the in the light what the parts look like, uh, just so you can get a better understanding of it. Yeah, and the specific parts you uh, ship out as well. Yeah, we ship them anywhere in the country. Um, we do ship a lot of them up to Johannesburg and Durban, and all other provinces. Northern Cape, we send quite a lot to Northern Cape as well. Um, wherever there's Honda guys, we send them whatever type of car, we send all different brands of linkage parts, whether it's VW uh, or Honda or even Opel also, Nissan as well, we have push kits for Nissans as well. So uh, whatever gear problems you're having, we can sort it out, yeah. How's it guys? So here's our parts uh, for the Golf, we'll start with the Golf stuff. Um, uh, this is the short shifter that we put on the Golfs. Um, this basically eliminates or well it shortens the throw the forward backward movement uh, as you saw on the demonstration video so that your hand doesn't really go that far forward and that far back yeah um, it's more than just a racing modification it actually uh, makes the car feel a lot more modern yeah and it, uh, somewhat less effort in the shoulder and the elbow so it's more in the wrist then yeah uh, that's the short shift and then this is the steel lollipop to eliminate the standard rubber lollipop 
um, where the ball usually wears out so ours is a full steel version and it's also adjustable by that keyway um, so that eliminates uh, the stickiness on the lollipop then we also have these uh, Vescanite bushes uh, we call them racing bushes uh, these sit very close to the exhaust so the standard rubber ones they tend to melt uh, under the heat of the exhaust so we have these Vescanite ones uh, they basically last forever um, this is actually a suitable replacement for steel bushes or brass bushes in linkage systems um, it's just a uh, a better material itself lubricating as well um, yeah that's the VW stuff um, other than that we do have more products like steel links um, uh, basically to eliminate uh, more of the rubber parts because the more rubber you eliminate in the system the longer it's gonna last basically and gives a more solid uh, mechanical feel which is uh, what uh, the car guys basically want you want to feel the changing of the gears yeah and not have a vague feeling you want a, a solid positive clicking feeling in your gears and that's what that gives you then uh, for the Honda stuff to eliminate that sideways play that you have on your Honda gear lever this is our polyurethane bush kit um, the linkage bush kit this is the linkage bush kit these are only available from us and not available anywhere else um, this eliminates the sideways movement on the gear lever um, it replaces your standard bushes which are multiple pieces with o-rings and plastic grommets and stuff this is a solid polyurethane piece, it fits in, it's quite easy to fit um, and it works like a bomb as you saw on the video there inside Shane's car, it eliminates all of that sideways movement. Then we also have the more common uh, bush kit that is available on the market which is your gear lever mounting bush kit. Uh, this basically holds the gear lever up, uh, it mounts to the body with this one and it mounts to the gear box with that one. So that is usually how they would mount on the car. Um, these also, it doesn't eliminate as much play as that bush kit, but this does help the gear lever to stay more solid, yeah, to also help with that positive feeling uh, on the gear lever. Yeah, other than that, we do have a short shifter for the Hondas also, uh, unfortunately I didn't have an example now to show you guys, but we have short shifters for the Honda also for that same forward-backward movement to make it quite shorter, yeah. And again, it's not only for racing, it's uh, for comfort thing as well. And just for a more modern feeling uh, gear shift, yeah. Look here, Ashik, so mm. with the Honda e cache um, short shifter. Yes. I know with the Mark 1 you mentioned that for the shorter throw you have to sacrifice a little bit more like, you have to put more L effort in. A little bit of effort, yeah. Um, basically uh, distance versus effort. So you're sacrificing, you're using less distance for a little bit more, more effort, effort, yeah. Yes. It's not, it's not that heavy like where you're going to have to fight it in. Honestly, um, once you've taken a drive or two around the block, you won't even uh, realize that you're putting more effort in because you will be so amazed with the shortness of it that um, the effort won't really make that much of a difference. Yeah. Look here, and then does the same um, well scenario apply with for, the on the EK? Uh, yes. So this is for EK and for EG. Um, anything basically using a B or D series gearbox. Um, this bushes and the short shifter as well yeah and uh, like we were speaking about the effort the distance versus effort same thing yeah but again you won't really feel that much of the effort it's not it's not uh, a extreme amount of effort yes. that you're putting in yeah it's very minimal effort because it's yeah it, uh, you will like, again you will be too impressed with the throws of it that the effort won't really phase you that much Uh, you got something yeah, cooking there, bro. Yeah, um, so this is one of the new products that we got, which is our uh, radiator plate uh, for the Mark 1 Golf Yeah, It basically covers your radiator. It has three uh, purposes, actually. The reason why I designed it was three reasons. Uh, the reason number one, the functional reason of it, is that it keeps the air flowing through the radiator instead of over it. That's number one. And then number two is a mark one owner will know this problem that happens you just lean over here and then that little water pipe yeah, it breaks on the off. Radiator breaks <laughs> off so this protects that you can lean here all day and your pipe is safe there and then uh, the third thing which is the visual aspect of it it looks very nice and also it hides the wiring that you would usually see your headlight wiring there so it just neatens up this whole front section yeah 
And it actually hides a lot though. It yeah, it hides a lot. Yeah, especially if you're going for that clean engine bay look. Yeah, so it will hide all of that. Yeah, so that's the three functions of it. Yeah, and it, it works quite well. It fits on. It just uses these the radiator brackets themselves to mount. So uh, you don't have to have any special brackets to mount it. Uh, I do know that you have different sizes of radiators. Um, for that, we do cut others, but we just made them for the standard size radiator, which most golfs come with which is uh, this one yeah and then it has the fastenings uh, branding on there yeah that is how it comes standard uh, yeah and uh, that's what it is no definitely uh, you guys will be seeing me having uh, one of these fitted on my car soon because yeah. i'll be heading over to fastenings with some extra stuff you need to do the yellow car forward to it, man. so you guys will definitely see that on the yellow car maybe with a cold air induction i'm still deciding mm. on it uh, another uh, modification that we have or uh, adaptation that we have is uh, a water pipe to leak because a lot of the older golfs the heater doesn't work or and a lot of the conversions people end up looping the the pipes here that come out of the side of the head here so they usually loop it or they put the spark plug in there to block it off and stuff like that so we actually have this blank of plates if you look over here um, you can actually have to come in quite close there to see it so we blank off and we delete this water housing completely uh, the flange we delete it completely and we basically shorten uh, the water system to eliminate all that pipes there are unnecessary piping um, so it makes the water system a little bit smaller it doesn't affect your cooling um, this car runs perfect still temperature wise it runs perfect this is actually what a lot of the race cars uh, um, gti challenge cars uh, kilani cars yeah the race cars they run a similar water system and i mean those are race cars and they run cool all the time so it won't affect your temperature of your car yeah it just uh, basically neatens up the engine by and eliminates unnecessary water piping especially for your conversion cars yeah that is also available from us um yeah that's that's another modification that we do other than that um this whole setup was done by myself we try to do it as neat as possible always um, a clean engine bay is a healthy engine bay is what i believe yeah. so one thing that um Oshika has been busy on i think it's complete as well it's like yeah our, our latest it's product actually uh, which is a clutch bush cable bush kit. kit yeah um it's a polyurethane bush kit as you know with the golfs um you you have a very bad clutch uh, pedal feel usually definitely so, even too stiff or too soft or yeah um, spongy so that clutch cable bush kit it actually eliminates that sponginess and it guides the clutch cable as well so that it doesn't scrape on the firewall and on the box which is most often uh, the reason why clutch cables snap mm -hmm. Because it's scraping either on the firewall or it's scraping on the gearbox. Um, and those are also available from us. Um, you can get my contact details from Shane. I'm sure you'll put it on the screen there. Like that yeah, like somebody. always. <laughs> like always. Yeah, and then, um, yeah, they will be, they are available from us, yeah. So keep in mind, guys, that uh, we will be making a turn by fasting, so hopefully in the near future, mm -hmm. um, for that specific plate. And then I think I'm going to do that um, bush kit yeah, as we'll well. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that on the car as well. Yeah. And we'll give you guys a brief before and after because at the current time, I bought with a normal bush kit at a spare shop. Lost me probably like a month. Mm -hmm. uh, because one thing I've noticed, our chic, is that with the specific bush kit I buy by the spare shop. Each time I drive my car, I think each week I had to adjust my clutch cable. Yeah, because the bush is actually breaking yeah, all the time. Yeah, it's breaking the whole time. Yeah, so that, uh, that bush kit, that's why we made it in polyurethane because it's quite harder and it's a more durable substance so that you won't have to replace them again. Yeah. And I mean like, trust me, I've learned my lesson because I literally got stuck in traffic with mm. my foot on the clutch, by the way, that thing broke. Like while I was in traffic and my yeah. car shot almost it, to the car in front yes, of me. It it's it's it dangerous, happens. bro. It's dangerous, yeah. So too, you know, like there's like a, a I would say like a something uh, It's a safety, it's a safety. A, a safety habit. Actually, yeah, I'm yeah. Not choking, I know, you know I can choke. I choke <laughs> I was choking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, once we all choke. So all bro, Ashik, now, once again, thank you very much Always for pulling a pleasure, through. Man. No. If you guys need a service all the details on the screen all the details his number will be in the description down below so blow off my blow <laughs> blow his phone up um, yes. he is based in the uh, cape town cape area town, yeah, and we do call outs all over the western cape but even for you guys who's not in the western cape we courier our parts all over the country so uh, don't be afraid to give us a shout yeah send us a whatsapp we are it's best to contact us via whatsapp yeah um, yes, we're not definitely. always available to answer the phone because we're doing what we love which is 
working on the cars yeah sometimes it's a bit of an effort for me to get out under the car to go grab my phone um, but whatsapps we will usually respond to within 24 hours at least yeah uh, if we don't uh, just pop us a message again because our phone is always blowing up yeah because there's so many of you guys supporting us which we appreciate so keep it up man guys no definitely just because like I said uh, Ashik has been one of my um, well longest and first sponsors on this channel and um, like he did mention that each time uh, well a video has been shot and he has been featured on the channel you guys have been showing yeah. some amazing support Definitely, and um, yes. I feel me and Ashik we would like yeah. to just send our love and uh, well uh, respect out there yeah. for, the, for the support guys, and for the hustle keep on watching late late customs guys like subscribe and share <laughs> you know nice what thank you very much man. thank you yeah, man man where's Muhammad? Muhammad. Muhammad I was Muhammad. supposed to give this man a guys. shout out Muhammad. We must make a special mention to Muhammad who is also uh, part of Team Fasting. He's the other half of Team Fasting. You guys seen him in the last video of Fasting as well? Camera, but he is, <laughs> he is just as much as a master as I am in the linkage game. He is, so don't be surprised when Muhammad pitches up and I'm not there and does the job. Muhammad is always in the background and he's just as good with his hands on the car. We work with the same uh, work ethic and passion for cars you know we believe in doing things 100% if it's not 100% we don't do it there's only one way to do it and that's the right way yeah. and that's what we believe more than specializing in uh, gear linkages we specialize in quality workmanship mm -hmm. and doing things the right way because we love cars yeah you know so that is what it is yeah and that's what we do yes, sir. for the love of cars <laughs> thank you very much James. thank you thank you, thank you shane thank you. thanks for thank always you. having us for always inviting yeah. us out here we love it here man it's it's a big pleasure yeah and it's a beautiful <laughs> drive out to stellenbosch all the way from where we out on the cape flats uh, strandfontein uh -huh. so yeah uh, we just for reference guys uh our chic said uh i don't make look at tea <laughs> I didn't say don't make liquor tea, I just said cousin made better tea, but the tea is liquor man. <laughs>